Hello, my name is Adonis and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an X return spread for all of my Aquarius out there for the month of June. So, let's get after it. <clears throat> sun, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Sun, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Sun, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What kind of love or energy are my Aquarius currently dealing with? What kind of love or energy are my Aquarius currently dealing with here? Cards. I need two. Ooh. Let's see. Okay, here we go. One wanted to pop out, so we're definitely gonna take that one. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. So right now you're dealing with someone that's moving into calmer waters, okay? So being in a relationship with you is representing a more calmer, tranquil um more tranquil situation for this individual there's also this aspect of you know there's a lot of friends a lot of celebratoriness around this situation uh, so it seems to me i'm kind of picking up that you probably met this person at some type of festive event or something like that where there was alcohol exchange maybe a bar maybe some type of social setting or something like that now there is the feeling with this individual that if they hold on they're definitely going to have a short success here Okay, so they're going to hold on for a short success. So they're trying to hold on to this situation to make sure that, you know, they're trying to make sure all their I's are dotted and T's are crossed, but they're continuously moving forward, okay, with the situation. And there is a little bit of apprehension here. There's a, there's a little bit of apprehension here. There's a little bit of fear, more or less, more, more or less, of, if, a little, more or less there's fear here that they, they're not exactly sure if you feel the same way about them as they feel about you, all right? This is a younger individual here, younger fire sign individual here, okay? <clears throat> Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius energy here. <clears throat> but with that being said, all right, you got the emperor energy here. This person is definitely trying to take charge of the situation moving forward, all right? They're trying to manifest this particular mindset into reality here. Because there is a thought that there is going to be a new hope, a new opportunity, a rebirth, if you will, in this particular situation. All right? <clears throat> so that's what's happening with you here. There's this fire sign individual, a little bit young, a little bit inexperienced. But, you know, again, fire, page of wands, very, uh, you know, look at things like really differently than, than other individuals. There's a lot of, a lot of exploratory energy here. And... <clears throat> you know, they're, they're moving forward, being very hopeful, being a little bit cautious, being a little bit cautious, but nevertheless still moving forward towards that end goal of starting a relationship with you, okay? There's a lot of hope, uh, a lot of, it's taking a lot of courage on their on their part as well, but they're trying to manifest this, uh, this relationship into reality here. So that's that. So with that being said, let's see what a kind of energy... Your ex is currently dealing with. Now, this could be an ex from, <clears throat> you know, two months ago, two years ago, uh, three, four years ago. Okay? So, what kind of energy is your ex currently dealing with? What kind of energy are your ex currently dealing with? What kind of energies are your ex currently dealing with? What kind of energies are your ex currently dealing with here? Okay. Yeah, it's that heavy. All right, so here we go. First out the gate here, we got the Four of Cups here. So there's this individual that feels like they're giving your ex their cup of energy and your, your, and your ex, giving your ex their cup of energy and your ex is outwardly just refusing. You know, they're refusing their cup of love. They feel like, so not, or there's the feeling that they're being refused, rejected by your ex here. Now this person... Is looking for an equal give and take, looking to give an equal um, expenditure of their time, also possibly financial, um, fi fi financial um, generosity as well as here in this situation. This is an air sign individual, okay? 
Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius energy here. Um, and they're approaching the situation with a very clear sense of purpose. A very, In their mind, they're very clear about what they want, um, how they want to go about doing it. You know, there's no, no blockages here at all. Okay? Um, but nevertheless, you know, uh, there's this feeling of feeling of feeling rejected here. Now, in addition here, we have another air sign individual. Now, this Knight of Knight of Swords energy here is a little bit more uh, rambunctious, if you will, a little bit more somewhat reckless, if you will, like a bull through a china shop here. Um, can be somewhat argumentative, Knight of Wands here. Um, and a little bit more blunt. It has this very cutting, very harsh cutting energy here we're talking about here. Now, do we have to double here? There, this Now, this represents... Um, and I'm feeling this um, very, uh, very strongly here. There's this, this real sense of like um, of, of um, opioid addiction, of, of alcoholism. Um, just overall possi possibility, very, uh, very toxic situation. Um, but definitely, but definitely, 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 is a very toxic situation. Opioid, alcohol, toxic, or it could be all three together. Okay, there's a lot of anxiety and tension that this situation has caused okay and it's left it, it and also there's the involvement of a third party possible third party involvement definitely a, a broken um de definitely a very the energy here is very chaotic very heavy and very dark all right so your ex is um that that particular ex is um not experiencing good things. Let's just say that. So what are the chances of you and your ex, of this particular ex, reconnecting at least in a mutually respectful way? Okay. One more shuffle or to do it. Ooh, well, that's interesting. Well, it absolutely looks like there is definitely going to be a situation in which there's going to be a reunion between you two. It's going to be a happy reunion. It's going to be it's going to be a happy reunion. Definitely a happy reunion. But someone's going to probably have to take control and kind of steer the conversation, if you will, over in the direction in which they needed to go to. Okay, so someone's going to take control of the conversation. Um, we're going to will the conversation almost to go to where they wanted to go to. And there's absolutely, with it got the double card here, there's absolutely going to be the knowing that there, that, you know, you're going to definitely know that your ex is in a very toxic situation. They're going to kind of ooze that, if you will. It's also the possibility that they themselves may be involved in some type of opioid, alcohol, addictive type of situation as well. So in other words, the meeting will be pleasant um it'll be it possibly would be friendly but there's not really going to be much other than that there it's going to be basically just a feeling of sympathy okay. well, the spirit wants to ask so I'll shut this thing down here Okay, so, Spirit saying communicate clearly, all right? And this may be in regards to communicate clearly that you are no longer uh, interested where you're, pos where, where you're positioned in your life. Just make sure you're very clear about that, okay? Um, you're also most likely going to have to, you know, you may want to, you know, talk to other helpful people that maybe help your ex out in this time of need because you're going to be able to really see that they're in a really bad spot, okay? And again, helpful people, friends of friends and things of that nature, okay? But, Spirit Sauce, awesome. if you believe, if you believe that you can actually help this person change, you know, help them on the, on the down, out of this downward spiral that they're in, if you believe you can be helpful, be helpful. But by no means 
attach yourself onto this sinking ship and, and, and get pulled down into the murk with this individual. So that's what spirit is telling me to say here. So with that being said, I'm going to shut this thing down now. Uh, this is a general love reading. It may not resonate with everyone. If it does resonate with you, you want to know a little bit more about this particular situation, again, I'll leave the link below. Make sure you get a personal reading. Um, if you haven't already, please like, please share, please, please, please subscribe. My name is Adonis. I love you guys. And I'll definitely see you next time. Bye-bye.